Hello everyone. So, residency is long. It's hard, right? It is, but it's supposed to be that way because you cannot accumulate the knowledge that you need to be a good physician in a short period of time. You cannot even accumulate the compassion that I see as layered across the many, many experiences, many of them humbling, many of them eye-opening that you will you will gather. So look at this as an opportunity. Look at this as a gift. Look at it in a in a part, you know, of, of history, of legacy that you now are a part of. And as you are, oh, this is this is an example. This is when I came here in, in early 90s. This is the yellowed book with my code cards, you know, that I carried around as a as an intern and then as a resident. And this is something from totally different era, from the 1930s, 1920s. You know, when physicians still carry these things around. So you are part of that legacy. So as you have traveled through your mix of aspirations and uh, anxieties that are necessary to experience in the time of residence in any kind of a training. So thank you for everything that you do. And I have forgotten to tell you, you've done this all with the COVID-19. Pretty cool. Hi, I'm Susan Culligan, the Associate Dean for Graduate Medical Education. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all of our residents and fellows for the hard work they've put in during the COVID pandemic. One of the skills we ask residents and fellows to master is the concept of lifelong learning because medicine doesn't stand still. It changes day to day, month to month and year to year. And no time has that been more obvious than during this COVID crisis. We appreciate you stepping up to the challenge and all of the hard work you put in for our patients. Hi, my name is Brad Benson and I serve as the Chief Academic Officer for ML Fairview. And the purpose of this message is just to say thank you. Residents and fellows out there, you have stepped up taking care of our patients, taking care of our communities, being a part of research studies, frankly developing new devices. One of you saw a patient get compassionately extubated and die alone and that moved you to where you took that and channeled it into developing a new device that uh, fixes that problem. and allows uh, us to be around aerosolizing procedures safely and it's just been inspiring. 21 years ago I was a chief resident in the medicine program, med peace program sitting uh, at Regents Hospital and worrying about morning report and M&M and, and I think of uh, you know the difference today and what you've stepped up and done. University of Minnesota residents and fellows. I don't say this lightly, you are simply the best residents and fellows in the entire world. You are strong, wise, prepared, and most importantly, highly effective critical thinkers. I stand with you. We stand together with you. I am proud to be on your team. Thank you. Thank you. Bravo and thank you. Thank you.